Good morning, this is Abraham Saltum from Jerusalem. Today we'll be learning about 3D tools and uh, the motion editor. For this we have, uh, we're going to start from a base document, something that we can download from a website. All source files are available there. And uh, we already have Barack Obama on the White House. Uh, we're just going to focus on creating the coin, flipping the coin, and the motion editor. Uh, we are creating now a symbol inside of the symbol. First, we're creating a coin as a movie clip, and then this movie clip is inside of the flipping coin, which contains the actual animation of the coin flipping. And there we go, we have a simple coin. Um, we already saw the result. Uh, so that's the coin. It's created. Now let's go to the flipping coin symbol. Drag and drop the coin. We just created the simple circles. And uh, let's start by creating a motion twin. If you don't know, click on the frame, uh, create a frame, and then right click. Now you see these uh, green and, and red uh, lines it means you can flip you can flip the object on the screen select the motion tween so you have the motion tween properties and tell on the dialog box it's gonna flip one time and let's see what we have we created a coin we created a motion tween using the 3D tool and now we have a flipping coin so simple so sweet I hope it's not too fast I only have 10 minutes so now let's concentrate on throwing the coin Barack Obama has a tough life he inherited a war a economic crisis he's using a tough decision method let's start by uh, creating a layer and let's put our coin into stage now this flipping coin it's flipping the other coin is steady now whatever stays is always flipping now I'm going to make some of the layers here invisible so I'm, I want to make sure that I have the coin uh, Mr. Obama is going to throw on the right size that's using the free tra transform tool make it smaller and uh, using the uh, zoom tool, let's focus on the coin to make sure that's proportional to our drawing. Let's make it a bit more smaller. Yes. Uh, and we're ready to go, I guess. Let's see now. fit Mr. Barack Obama back into screen. Now the coin, we're going, we have a layer for the flipping coin. Let's put, put the coin in his hand and let's create a motion path. The motion path is going to be created out for simultaneous frames at 5 and uh, all the layers are locked besides the layer that contains the flipping coin. Let's create a motion tween and by dragging and dropping the coin we are creating a motion path meaning that the coin will follow that green line you see up to the top and then I'm going to move the player ahead to the last frame and then put the flipping coin back into Mr. Obama's hand and there we are the flipping coin now should go up and down because we have a motion path. Let's test our movie. We have a mechanical coin toss because naturally the flipping coin should go up and then stop a bit and go down. It slows down while going up. It has the law of gravity. So what we have now looks like a mechanical and for a more natural coin toss we'll be applying uh, 
is something called a ease. For this, we use the motion editor. The motion editor has a table of eases, pre made eases, and I'm going to start by creating a negative ease. With the purpose of demonstration, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, we have to create the ease is by pressing the plus sign you saw there, and they have to apply. You can apply the ease to the X, to the I, to the Z, to the color. Uh, so you're applying the ease to the uh, basic motion, and you'll see that go it goes the opposite what we want. It stays down and then goes up very fast. We want him to throw the coin. So we're going to move um, to a hundred the um, the ease that we created. It's called start and fast. You can always check the graph. We have graphs. You can expand the ease and see the graphs. It's possible to create custom made, but most of the ease is pe people are going to use is already built in. You scroll down on the motion editor uh, uh, panel and scroll down and you have pre-made eases and you apply it to the motion. Here you go. He throws the coin the coin stays up for a bit and then it goes down. Looks pretty natural. But the one thing I, I still have to improve on this animation is his hand. His hand looks like a, I don't know, a child could have. So I'm going to improve the hand uh, so it it looks normal. And, and, and the thumb, when he's throwing the coin, the thumb stays up. He's flipping the coin. And so for this, it will be drawing a hand. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit. I have 10 minutes. So besides plenty of tracing and drawing tutorials on my website, there's no need for hurry here, a uh, detail here. So I'm going to speed up a little bit, and I'm going to create two hands: one the thumb up, and one with the thumb down. So when he flips, he tosses the coin. Uh, you see the thumb up, and when he receives the coin, the thumb, he's holding coin with his hand. And that's uh, Mr. Obama. Uh, you can download everything that you see here, source files, the picture on my website. And uh, here you go, you're creating a hand, a very simple hand, and we're duplicating the hand because we need a hand with the thumb up. So it's identical. All I have to do is create a thumb. And here you go, we have a small thumb, and we're placing the thumb on the hand. Let's go back to our main scene where Mr. Obama, let's lock all the layers so we don't get messed up. Um, and we're going to be using only the layer that contains the hand. To add frames again, select the frames, place we want to add the frames, F5, we have a huge hand. Now let's size the hand, use the free tra transform tool, and we have the hand with the thumb down. Let's add a keyframe for swapping the symbol. Why are we swapping the symbol? Uh, you want to have the hand with the thumb up in the exact same place and stretch as the previous hand. So we're swapping symbols. I'm swapping the symbol of the hand with no thumb to the hand with the thumb. So we swap the symbol. We don't lose neither stretch or place. And that's I'm creating custom made keyframes. Um, pretty much well, almost there. Thanks for watching my video and let's test.